guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today I'm so happy to see you here so today we are going to do the Halloween tutorial uh, as you know this Halloween is a little bit different for everyone and not everyone get a chance to celebrate but if you're celebrating somehow maybe over the zoom call or something maybe you're like me and you just don't want to invest too much in Halloween this year so this is tutorial supposed to be um, pretty easy I would expect I haven't tried this makeup yet so I don't know I'm expecting it to be not too difficult but we'll see so we're gonna be using this um, the body art paints I got it on Amazon um, if you're interested I was uh, it was about $18 or something like that so um, what I'm thinking to do is like a half of the face uh, like a melt face half of it is going to be black and white and half of it is going to be colored so this is basically the idea before I start my tutorial I would like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and more vlogs that's what I do on my channel mainly and please give me your thumbs up I really appreciate that it really helps out uh, uh, it really helps me out a lot so yeah let's start alright so I'm thinking the melting area might be somewhere around here and this side is going to be colorful and this one is going to be black and white so I'm thinking I'm going to start with the colorful one as always I'm using my flat top brush together with my 220 in the shade 220 uh, matte and poreless foundation by Maybelline So I'm going to use my like a regular um, makeup that I usually use and then uh, for half of my face I'm just going to use mainly the body art paint. I did one more tutorial before this one and I kind of know what to expect from this paint. These paints do not really set, like the, they, they feel very oily. I don't have much of an experience working with the body art paint. So I don't know if they're always like this, I would expect so, but um, just the fact that they don't set, uh, this time I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to use the, instead of the brush, well, on top of the brush, I'm going to use the sponge for the white side of the face, and then I'm also going to set, uh, set it this time. I don't have a, a white uh, setting powder. I don't have a white setting powder but I have a translucent so I think I'm, that's what I'm going to use let me guys know I don't know if you watched this uh, my previous video or not but I asked you before what you guys gonna be for Halloween this year but um, if you haven't watched it then please give me your comments down below to tell me what you are planning to be for Halloween this year is a little different for everyone, so let me know if you guys are going to celebrate or not. I feel like the only way I was celebrating um, this Halloween, me and the kids went to not very far for trick and treat fun. Um, they have like a food festival, it's called Taste of Knots. So that was like the only way we really celebrate this year. I don't even feel like like decorating the house. You know, usually we pull out some, you know, Halloween scary stuff and decorate the, the front yard. But to be honest with you, it's just, I don't know, it just seems like, it seems like too much work for, for nothing. This year, the kids don't come over, you know, the trick or treat, trick or treat, I don't think. Okay, so now I'm done with the eyebrow. I'm going to use this, this is 35C uh, Morphe palette, this is the older palette, so, uh, so first of all I'm going to use this brown to apply in my crease on the side just so I can blend some color in and then after this I think I'm going to use this shade for you know pop of color, not a pop of color but mainly to you know decorate my eye. Oh, this is the pigmented stuff. I already forgot. It's been so long since I used this uh, palette. Just applying it, blending it out. 
And I'm using some random brush by BH Cosmetics. Doesn't I don't think it has a number or anything. So now I'm going to use this blue eyeshadow. Now using my eyeshadow palette, it's the Glamister Beauty eyeshadow. I'm using the little boss, it's like a gold sheet. I'm actually going to use it with my finger, just apply it uh, right here. And then using the Keeping It 100, I'm using my tiny flat brush. I'm going to put the, a little bit of it in the corner and on my brow bone. And now using my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh, pencil brush, I'm using the same, using the same blue on the bottom. Okay, and now using a little bit larger pencil brush, it's like a between blending and, and um, pencil. I'm using this black shade Frenemies. And now using my finger, I'm going to use this Russian bombshell. It's like a, a shimmer teal color. I'm going to apply it over this teal, just right here on like a, probably it's the third quarter of the eye. Just add a little bit of, you know, so it's not as flat and matte. <clears throat> now I'm using my eyeliner. It's Almay eyeliner. I love this thing just because, you know, doesn't dry on me. I can use it forever. So now I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm going to do the mascara and the lashes last after I, you know, finish up my upper side. So I think we're done with this side, with this eye at least. Now I'm going to use my sponge, I believe it's a Morphe sponge. I'm going to use it for the other side of my face. I'm going to dab it. And I get very impatient though. What was like the most difficult and like complicated Halloween look that you ever did? I don't think I ever did very complicated. It's usually like a little sexy costumes as far as the club goes. Because I usually, you know, as a little person and as, as entertainer, I usually worked for Halloween. And I really started to like really celebrating it and doing stuff for me and for the family um, after I had kids. So before that, I always been like in a club working. And I usually dressed up um, Whatever, like, whatever that year made sense for that year, you know? I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get. It's a little patchy. When I'm looking, I don't really have like a monitor here. I'm only uh, using my phone as the monitor. And I'm, when I'm looking at my phone, it looks fine. But when I look in the mirror, it doesn't. All right, so now I'm going to I'm going to define this line using the small like acrylic paint brush, using the same white. done with my drips now I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm just going to set it a little bit and 
buy a little bit of them as much as I can. Just because my uh, brow pencil looks pretty gray to me, I'm just going to use it on the second eyebrow. But if you, you know, have more brown in it, just use the like a gray eyeshadow for the side. So I decided to do this eye real quick. I'm just using um, the same 35C palette and I'm using this, sh this shadow. So I'm going to start with this gray one, deepen it with the black, uh, and then uh, do a little bit of this one. <coughs> I'm just gonna start working uh, pretty quick. It's uh, my camera battery is a little bit messing with me. Because I have pretty old batteries, so they don't hold charge very much. I don't know. I should get a new ones because I mainly vlog on my GoPro now, so I don't use this camera very often. So maybe I should just, you know, bear with it as long as, um, you know, as long as it's just makeup tutorials once in a while. I decided to use this black one because this one uh, is much darker, in my opinion, much more pigmented. You have to be patient with this um, with this side because um, the eyeshadows don't blend as well having this thick base. But I think it should be fine. And I'm using the same black for my bottom lash line. And I'm using pencil brush to apply a little bit of like combination of these two grays also on the bottom lash line. Add a little bit of a gradient to it. And now using larger blending brush, I'm going to use this gray to apply all over my eyelid. Right here. And I'm going to blend out my crease just a tiny bit with the same, like leftovers on the same brush. So now I'm going to line my eye and I think I saw like a uh, this makeup tutorial on um, Pinterest oh actually I saw it on Amazon when I was looking for this colors one of the girls uh, posted this picture that she used it uh, this paint for this purpose so now while my eyeliner is drying I'm going to outline this drips and I'm using just a Morphe Darkroom black liner. Yeah, I think it looks good. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of a like a shadow around it. I'm using this gray. Maybe I'll mix a little bit of this dark gray. Just going over the same contour on the bottom of it. Alright, I'm thinking this is not like working out how I planned. I'm going back with a smaller one. Okay, so I kind of like this side better just because this shadow, in my opinion, it's like a little bit too much. So, if you guys doing this look, uh, my advice to you don't overdo it. Don't use too big of the brush because, you know, it's hard to fix that. Like, I feel like this shadow is a little, is a little too big. And I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm using the Benefit, um, Benefit Roller Lash. While my lash is drying, I'm going to use the Nastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Midnight. 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 Now I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm going to use this iconic by House of Lashes with my black House of Lashes glue 
all right so the lashes are in and now the last thing I'm going to do I'm going to apply a little bit of a definition to this side of my face I'm sorry guys my stuff is not like located the best way so for this I'm going to use a little bit of this shadow mixing with this shadow and I'm just going to take a deep breath try to have well no no matter how much I try I do have a heavy hand 